I'm Peter Singer. I'm the Ira W. DeCamp Professor of Bioethics at the University Centre for Human Values at Princeton University. There are many things that effective altruists can do to, to help people. One of them, obviously, is to donate money. But, in fact, there are things from your own body that you can donate that will make a difference. Giving blood is something we're very familiar with, and that's very easy. But uh, the next step up from that would be uh, donating bone marrow, going on the bone marrow register, and then if somebody if you're a match for somebody who needs bone, a bone marrow transplant, uh, who, for whom that can be life-saving, um, being prepared to do that. That's a somewhat more onerous procedure um, than donating blood. Not risky, but um, still can be a little bit painful and a longer procedure. And then the next step from that is, is donating a kidney, which still only a relatively small number of people do, maybe uh, 150 a year. I'm talking about donating a kidney to a complete stranger. There are many more who donate kidneys to relatives. Um, but uh, that's, that's clearly a step up. Um, but it is a, a wonderful thing to do uh, for people who are up to it because uh, the risk of harm to yourself is, is really very small. Uh, Zell Kravinsky, who's done this, uh, calculates the risk of being about one in 4,000. Um, and uh, it's very often life-saving for people and certainly it gives them a far better quality of life. I know several people who've done this and often they've had contact from the recipient uh, who's just obviously extremely grateful for really giving them their life back and being able to be a fully productive member of the community again.